A bronchoscopy is a diagnostic test uh, where we insert a long, thin tube with a mini camera on its tip through the mouth and into the airways of the lungs. It allows us to visually inspect the inside of the airways and also to collect samples from the lungs. My name is Zaid Zumont. I'm staff physician and interventional pulmonologist at Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. So a diagnostic bronchoscopy in the initial phase involves a visual inspection of all the airways that we can reach with the camera. And once we've had a look around, we will tend to do the sampling from the areas that we want to uh, target. We can do bronchoscopies either with the patient awake and sedated, or we can uh, have the patient uh, completely asleep under general anesthesia. Once the patient is comfortable and the throat is numb, we will pass the bronchoscope, which is this long thin tube, through the mouth and into the main windpipe past the vocal cords. After that, a full inspection of all the airways will be performed. If we suspect infection, we might want to do something called the lavage. We will uh, wedge the bronchoscope at the opening of the airway that leads to the part of the lung that we're most interested in doing. We will then inject uh, salt water into that area of the lung and suction it back out into a container. We can also perform bronchial brushings where we pass a brush through the bronchoscope and agitate the part of the lung where we want to get samples from. If we find a lesion which looks abnormal inside the airways, we can pass small forceps through the bronchoscope and take small bites of that area. At times where we suspect a disease of the lung tissue itself and we want to get samples of the lung tissue, we will need to do a transbronchial biopsy. And we'll pass the forceps deeper into the lung. Then we time the sampling so that when the patient is breathing out slowly, we take a bite of the lung tissue itself. Smaller lesions that may be further away from the big airways can be a bit harder to get at, but we have tools like the electromagnetic navigation and the X-ray to help us make sure that we have a good yield from these procedures. We'll be taking real-time X-ray images as we're taking the sample, and this is to reduce the risk of causing a pneumothorax or any other complication. Diagnostic bronchoscopy is an extremely safe and routine procedure. In general, it doesn't take more than 15 minutes to perform from start to finish. The patient is usually sleepy for one to two hours after the procedure. Uh, the numbness in the throat usually settles within a couple of hours, and then they can have something to eat or drink, and they will go home. What we usually do is ask the patient to come back to clinic to see us one week after the procedure to discuss the results of their uh, camera test. The chance of success of bronchoscopy in terms of establishing diagnosis is very high, especially now that we have this uh, modern technology that enables us to make sure that we are reaching exactly the right area of the lungs that we should be sampling. But bronchoscopy is an essential tool uh, in the investigation process of lung diseases. It allows us to definitively diagnose what the problem is, and that in turn enables us to treat it the best possible way.